Hi. In this video, I'm going to continue to explore some basic features about Adobe Captivate 6. This is another video for complete beginners. In a previous one, I just showed how you could take a PowerPoint presentation that is um, complete, import it into Captivate 6, create a new Captivate file, and then publish it as a Swift video file to post on the web for others. I then showed in another video how you can take that same basic Captivate 6 project based on PowerPoint and add some basic navigation buttons. Well, in this video, I want to actually focus on just creating a basic image slideshow. So you'll notice in Captivate 6 under Create New, you have this option here for Image Slideshow. So if I click on that, it gives me some options here. In my case, I tend to often just select YouTube widescreen and I'm going to select OK. So now it's going to prompt me where do I want to what images, where are my images located, that is on my computer, so in this case they're all in this folder here called Hyde Park Images, so I'm going to click OK and you can see that it is bringing up, so I'm going to just keep this as, you notice I hear what's happening is the image is one size but actually the size of my um, slide, I went with that HD slide so here it wants me basically just to move this around so I can choose how I want to do it or I can just choose best fit and right now I'm just going to choose best fit and I'm going to make sure it's at fit to the stage apply to all and hit OK so you can see it's adding the slides so I just need to have some patience so you can see over in the film strip I can see all the images that I added and up here it's telling me that it's basically based on this basic white template and so I could go through here if I wanted to and play with others like in this case the blank one probably makes more sense so I'm just gonna select that and say yes I want to continue so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to file preview and I'm gonna preview in a web browser just to see already what does it look like okay so if I go down you can see what my images look like and you'll notice that you can use the navigation to click through so it's basically done a basic slideshow so now it's just a matter of tweaking this to meet my needs so in this case I'm you'll notice that down here it says slide three seconds and so it's set up to go forward at three seconds down here you'll notice in the property inspector I can do a few things just to change from the get-go so if I start going down here first thing I can do I'm going to uncheck project background and I'm going to change my stage to actually just a basic black. I can't see it, it's over here on the very edge. So quality I can do a few options here. I'm just going to select high. Transition. You'll see that if I go down I'm just going to see what fade does. And when I was watching it I felt like it went pretty fast. So I could try to experiment and see what does 8 seconds look like. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down some more. So this is where there's, you know, do I want certain action on each ones? I don't. I'm good here. I actually don't have any audio. Later if I wanted to, I could go ahead and do that. Okay. And so, but you'll notice that what it did was it did that just for this slide. So when I click on this slide, this other image, you'll notice that it's a little different. So what I'm going to do is select all the slides, uh, select black background. So I'm just going to do those same steps, right? And so in this case, fade. I'm just dragging this up to 8 seconds. And so eh, 7.5 is fine because really I want to preview this and see does it look the way that I think it should. So I'm going to go back to preview. And if you wanted to be real quick, you could just preview the next five slides. I'm going to actually preview it all in my web browser. Okay, so you'll notice that I see the black background. And so what I'm going to do is actually go to view zoom zoom out a little right just so you can get the full effect here but you can see the black background 
you can see how fast it's progressing. Right, the eight seconds. And then I still have these buttons that I could do to click through faster. So just like that, I've done a pretty basic slideshow. So now I'm going to go to the front. And I'm going to go to new slide from blank template. I'm going to actually click and drag it up. I'm going to click on insert text. I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to look over in my property inspector. You notice that it gives me some basic features and so you'll see different things that you can play with and see you know, in this case, I'm going to change this to 60 point. All right, so there we go there. And in this case, I'm going to change the color to white because of what I want to actually do is then change the background to black so it's the same as the others. You can see that it's still a little funky, so I'm going to click and pull this out, make it a little bigger, drag this over, and you can look over here and kind of see where it's at in the big picture, but just like that, I'm going to preview it again. In this case, I'm just going to experiment with the next five slides. Typically, you'll notice that when you do that, it should go faster, but in this case, say so you saw that just like that I added that basic title slide. Let's go back. So there's my title slide and you'll see that based on the timing it's going to start in 8 seconds. And just like that I added a title slide. And so have some fun in future videos we will dive more into what are ways that you would add navigation to this, what are ways that you could add other interactions and even audio. But as you see it's pretty simple to create a basic slideshow using Captivate 6. So in this case, I'm going to actually publish this. And I'm going to, this time, publish it to YouTube. So you can see it takes a little while. So while it's doing its thing, I'm going to pause. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so you can see it's almost done generating the video. scroll this over you could see you couldn't quite see it but right now after it generates a video it then wants you to insert your credentials for YouTube. I read the policy I'm not going to select to remember me I'm just gonna click login. So in this case okay, I'm gonna leave the rest for now as is I've read terms I'm gonna hit upload. I can always add more of a description or tags or a lot of those other things a lot easier and in more detail once it's actually uploaded to YouTube itself. So now that I've generated the video, now it's in the uploading process. So I'm going to hit pause and we'll check this out once it's done. Okay, so I can see it's almost done being uploaded. And you'll find that the upload process to YouTube happens a lot faster than the generating video process. So I can share it if I want to. I can copy the link. Right now I'm just going to click on view on YouTube. And you'll notice because I didn't do a good job of actually naming it originally and saving it, which I should have done. Um, it's Right now it's calling it Untitled 1. So once it's on YouTube, I'm going to want to double check that it has the name that I added. The other thing to be aware of that is when you upload something to YouTube, it usually takes a while to actually generate it on YouTube before you can actually see it. So in this case, I'm going to copy link. So it seems like it's taking a little while here. Oh, no, there we go. And this is what you typically see. So it says the video is currently being processed. So it's going to take a little while for it actually to go through. But you can see that it has the title that I expected. And this is something I can check back in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit refresh. Just like that, you can see it come up. So adding audio or some other things would definitely help kind of pull this together. But you can see that in a real quick and easy way, I created a basic slideshow using Adobe Captivate 6. 
in future videos we'll explore some other ways to improve this slideshow as well as doing other basic things for beginners with Adobe Captivate 6. Thanks.